Well, things have changed enormously for Buddhist women in, in the United States and North America in general since we first began. I think we had our retreat in 1988, and it was a marvelous experience. So the um, articles in the book, of Buddhist, uh, Buddhism Through American Women's Eyes, are still timely. They still um, are relevant to women today. And we've seen so much progress because there's so many more teachers of Buddhism in the United States today. That was the first article on Buddhism and mothering, for example. And now there are any number of books on, on Buddhist parenting and uh, Buddhist mothering and so on. And then, um, you know, documenting the, the bodhisattva path of peace through women's eyes. All of these things were quite revolutionary at the time and have been bearing fruit over the last couple of decades. So this is all very exciting. And I think that, of course, today's younger generation would know all of the struggles that we went through in the early years. But still, it's a great joy to see a new generation coming up. Uh, here at the Sadra conference, for example, we can see that about half the participants are women. 30 years ago, we probably wouldn't have seen that ratio. Um, more and more teachers are women, both in the United States, especially in North America, but also in other countries. So um, now Sakyadita has grown and grown, and we have conferences every two years in different countries. And we see that the quality of the papers, the research that's coming out, by or about Buddhist women is getting better and better. The quality of the workshops, you know, as women gain experience, as women gain a voice, then they step up and take a greater role. This has been very heartwarming. Yes. I think that in general, it's not so easy to change attitudes toward gender. Um, we take for granted that we've, you know, done that. But then, with the slightest provocation, we see that racism, sexism, classism is still pre prevalent everywhere. So sometimes it's just contained, but we still have work to do. So I think that workshops on unlearning racism, unlearning sexism, and so forth are really, really important. I think that the monasteries and the Dharma centers, both in Asia and the West, we should all be getting gender training so that we recognize in ourselves our own biased attitudes towards men, women, transgendered, and all the rest of it. So uh, this is one thing I think that we can improve on. Um, Buddhist women still do not get a, even a fraction of the support that men get, um, and we have to work with that. We just have to work within that those limitations. Um, I think that women of course, often have families, their earning potential is not as high as men, but also we find that many women support men's projects rather than women's projects. So again, back to gender awareness. And um, this is what Sakyadita has been doing over the last 30 years. And um, that's, uh, I think, also supporting women to you know, develop as translators and teachers is also very important. Um, we need to support each other and encourage each other. Uh, otherwise, it's easy to get discouraged sometimes when you're completely on your own, you know, having to work your way through grad school and, you know, raise money to do a three-year retreat. It's not easy, right? So encouraging one another, supporting one another is vitally important.